My oxygen's going down, and there's like some stuff flying through the air. I must return to the tethers before my oxygen runs out and dies from suffocation again. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Oompa, and this is Astroneer, a planetary exploration game where the ground is made from Play-Doh or something like that. I don't really know. Not 100%. I did read that on the store page, but I have yet to see any videos, and uh, honestly, I have huge expectations. Huge, soft, gelatinous expectations. Play-Doh-like expectations for this game. I heard from a friend that it's pretty good and it's right up my alley, right up my alley. That friend's name is Mike and thank you, Mike. You're a good friend, buddy. You're a really good friend. You're a little old, but you're a good friend. <laughs> That's NBR, by the way. So let's go ahead and play Astro Near, my friends. You can choose from a few different characters, it looks like, on the uh, on the front screen, whatever this is called, the main menu. Doesn't really look much like a menu. It looks like a very linear selection screen where I have to choose some sort of space dweller. <laughs> I can choose one with shoulder pads and blue stuff. I can choose an orange one that looks like he's from Russia in the 1960s. I can choose a little fat one <laughs> with a big marble head, or I can choose this guy right here. I think I want to be the Russian. There we go. Okay, I'm exploring space in the Sputnik SV-5. Th uh, the Sputnik this mini. What do I do here? Am I actually flying? Now, I don't know how in-depth this game actually is, but I'm pretty sure it's better than No Man's Sky. Yeah! So am I setting down my little thing on the ground here? This is kind of beautiful. <laughs> Not kind of beautiful, it is beautiful. Holy crap. Tab, what do I do? <gasps> I can get in and out, W-A-S-N-D. Oh, I got a string attached to my butt. <laughs> That's my fart collector. Terrain tool. Um, shape terrain, left. Oh my God, the ground is like Play-Doh. Well, not not really like play. -Doh. It's a little bit like play though. It's it's malleable like what I ran out of power already That's bullshit. I need to get some more power. Is that my little power meter that yellow thing in the center of my back? I'm gonna do some exploration. This game is beautiful What are these things berries? Can I eat some berries? Oh, I'm sucking them in. Give me your berries backpack Q This is a really cool backpack compound needed solar organic resource. Can I eat stuff? Is, is there survival aspects of this game? I need aluminum to make a wind vane. I need a compound to make solar. I need lithium to make a battery. That's what I want. I mean, I want more batteries. Let's go find some lithium, boys. What is this disgusting growth right here? This yellow growth thing. I need to get my terrain tool out and suck it in. Is that power? Yeah, look at it. It's powering up my stuff. Give me the power. That was pretty cool. Not sure how you could explain that scientifically, but I don't really think it, it matters, to be honest. I want some more organic matter. Can I have more organic matter? There we go. All right, boys, let's do some exploring right here. How come I have to be a certain distance away from my thing to have this little blue uh, tube attached to my butt? And what does that mean? I don't really know. What's this blue stuff over here? It's got an arrow above it. What are these things? Are these dangerous? Do these pose some sort of risk for my Russian man? For the Sputnik Dweller version 7? You can call me Sputnik this mini! Oxygen 50%. Okay, I think the tether might be an oxygen tether. This is blue, same exact color, so I'm assuming this is an oxygen source or something. I don't really know how that's supposed to work either. Not gonna question it. I want more oxygen. Give me the oxygen. I'm gonna suck all the oxygen up. Okay, I'm good. I think my thing's full. So we have two different meters on the back of my Sputnik man. We have a power meter and a blue oxygen meter. That's pretty cool. The uh, oxygen is going down very quickly and the power takes some time to go down. And I'm gonna collect these compounds really quickly. This is cool, I like this game. It's got a cool vibe to it. It's like it doesn't really care that much, but it kind of does care a little bit. Now, are there creatures? that I can kill. Are there beasts, monsters, troglodytes, cave dwellers, some sort of ornery homunculus? Oh God, my oxygen's low again. I want all this compound, there we go. Give me the compound, you some bitch. Okay, now I need to get the hell out of here uh, before my oxygen depletes and I die from starvation or whatever. 25% oxygen, run little Sputnik man, run! There we go. Mmm, delicious. I think I can do some stuff with this in here, compound, Tethers, what's a tether? I like this. This game has a really cool art style. Tethers, what do I, what do I do with tethers? Okay, cool. I have some tethers. I don't really know what to do with them. I also have some compound. I think I could make a solar panel with that. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna make a solar panel once again. Don't really know exactly what that's for, but uh, it just went right on my backpack. Cool. T to place tether. Oh, I get it. So you can use it as like some sort of uh, demarcation point for your uh, your oxygen supply. That is freaking cool, man. And it doesn't last very long. Okay, that kind of sucks. 
Can I have long tethers later on or am I stuck with short ones? Oh, I have more still. You just press T to place more. Okay. All right, look at this, guys. I'm exploring pretty well over here with my tethers and stuff. How many tethers do I get? <laughs> I wish they were a little bit longer. It's kind of a pain in the butt to use them. What are these giant balls over here? They're quite curious. I'm gonna investigate. Hello? Oh my goodness. Okay. I guess I'll investigate further or something. Cop. Oh shit, look at this. Some resources. It's some sort of testicular crate. <laughs> Give me that. I want it. I want it. Put it in my backpack. Woo! There we go, boys. All right, I don't need no stupid organic matter. I want copper. I want that good shit. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, there's a cave down here or something. Should I go in the cave? <gasps> oh, man. Hopefully there's monsters and stuff. Are there monsters in the cave? Or am I just alone out here? Can I not do anything? Oh, wow. Look at this tree. I'm going to make the tree fall. Oh, I just made a tree fall. That's the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I just made a tree fall, guys. There's another sack of balls over there. I'm gonna investigate this second sack of balls. Oh my god, the reflection of my solar panel is incredibly distracting, but I like the attention to detail there. That's pretty respectable. And pop! There we go. See ya! See ya, you stupid ball thing! For right now, I basically don't need any organic resources. It doesn't look like I can't create anything um, out of the organics, so I am just going to drop all of that. Uh, because I don't think it'll be difficult to find more of it. I can actually make stuff out of compounds and aluminum and copper and stuff, so I'm gonna make some stuff. Let's make more tethers, and let's make, let's make a generator. Not sure how I'm making a generator out of copper. That's kind of incredible. Oh, look at that, I put a little generator on top of my thingamajig. Oh, organic resources right on the generator. Hell yeah, it's freaking awesome, guys. And that's a power source for my backpack. What's happening? Things are turning red and I'm dying. Oh no. Oh, I'm suffocating! <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Oh, I'm dying! No, Sputnik this mini! Oh, okay. That wasn't that uh, devastating of a loss. <laughs> Where's my dead body? There it is. Come here, you little dead body or something. That was pretty lame. I didn't I didn't pay attention to my uh, to my death there. Look at my body. It looks like a penis stuck in the ground there. Sputnik this mini. What happened to you? I really dig this inventory system. It's very original and easy to use and self-explanatory. It's cool. Probably my favorite feature about this game so far. What are these things? Well, what's happening right now? My oxygen's going down and there's like some stuff flying through the air. I must return to the tethers before my oxygen runs out and I die from suffocation again. Sputnik, this mini will not die a second time. I'm gonna do some exploring. I'm gonna see what I can find, maybe down in this cave or something. If I go in this hole, how in the world am I supposed to get out of here? <laughs> That's a good question. What is this stuff, resin? Oh man, what can I make with resin? Yeah, give me the resin, give me the resin, yeah, yeah. It's common. Oh, I'm pooping out resin. What's this wind vane thing? I wanna do that. I don't know what it does, maybe it goes on my backpack or something. Not 100%, okay, it goes right there, maybe? Can I set it down? No, I can just lift stuff around. Holy shit, I'm telekinetic, I'm magic, guys. Not only am I Sputnik, I'm also a magician. <laughs> I'm the Russian wizard. You can call me the Russian wizard Sputnik this mini. I'm gonna see if I can find a way into this cave right here. I wanna do some exploring. See if there might be a living creature or something. I'm not 100% on the status of the living creatures. I don't think there is anything in the game right now, but we're gonna find out. And I don't know why I'm so obsessed with living creatures as the atmosphere of the game is already amazing and beautiful and gorgeous. What's that thing? Off in the distance. I want to go investigate that. I'm not gonna lie, this tether feature is a little bit cumbersome. It's almost like being encumbered in Skyrim or something like that. It seems kind of unnecessary for it to be this difficult to uh, to be able to use a very basic feature of the game. Hey man, I gotta breathe thumb hell, buddy. Gotta breathe thumb hell. Little Sputnik's gotta breathe thumb hell, all right? This game is all about realism, let me tell ya. <laughs> I wonder how long my tethers can go. Or can I, can I leave the planet? I'm pretty sure I can. I think it said like a planetary, uh, like interstellar exploration game where you can fly around aeronautical exploration. Not 100% sure on that, but uh, I'm pretty sure that rings a bell. So I'm looking forward to that if I ever get that far, of course. It's not looking too good for me right now, guys. All I'm doing is collecting resources <laughs> for my future. I'm just a young Russian man concerned with my future. I wonder if I can upgrade to have longer tethers. That'd be pretty cool. Like 80% of this, uh, this gameplay is just me talking about tethers. And Sputnik, of course, my little Russian friend here. I think this down here might be an entrance to the cave. Looks like a cave hole. Looks like a cave hole if I've ever seen one right there. I'm gonna go inside it and see what's inside it. I am good at talk. I'm sorry guys, English is not my first language. I am Russian. What is all this like weird golden stuff? Power, oh it's power. It's like power sitting in the ground. 
Does it make any sense? Just like smack your phone into the ground to get some power. <laughs> Come on, you little yellow things, get inside my damn iPhone. <laughs> I got a stack of power right here. Is that a stack of power or is that like corn or something? It looks like a little pallet of corn. We're making our way into the treacherous hole. Now, what are these things called? Stalagmites or stalactites? I can never remember. I live in the area with the largest underground cavern system in the world. Oh, wow, this is a deep hole. Jeez, that's disappointing. And can I pick up my tethers and put them back? Yeah, okay, good. That's dumb. I was expecting something cooler than that. Well, I'm gonna make a shortcut. I'm gonna chop this up. Here we go. I'm gonna make my own path. How about that? How about that, nature? I make my own path because I'm that much of a badass. Ah, now here's an entrance to the cave right down here. There's some compounds, some power. Heck yeah, there's a little bulbous pink thing right there. I'm gonna check that out. The bulbous pink thing has piqued my interest. Ooh. What are these little ugly beasts down here? Papa's gonna do some investigating. Ooh, it's it's pulsating and gyrating. Do I just suck it in or what? What is this? Um, ah! Well, I found my creatures. Damn it. What's this to extend? Huh? I had resin. Damn it. I gotta go get my resin so I can put it in here and see what that does. All right, guys, I gotta go follow my tethers to see where they lead to. I can't believe that beast killed me. What was that thing? Holy crap, by the way, look at how many tethers I placed. I didn't realize I did that much traveling, jeez. Put your running shoes on, Sputnik. We've got very little time to make it to my deceased body. You Russian bastard. I hope these things don't kill me again, because that was kind of scary. I didn't realize they were gonna blow up and stuff. I thought this world was kind of safe. What are they? Ah! I don't like it, and this one too. Uh, they're like a pear or something. I don't like them. All right, give me all my stuff, dude. These things are disgusting. Should I take them back to my ship or something? No, probably not. That's a terrible idea. I'm going to do a little bit more exploring, and then I'm going to take my resin back to my ship. There's more of them down there. Oh, my God. Do I have a shotgun or something? Oh, these ones are tooting out green gas at me. How was that possible? It's homing me. That's weird. I don't like it. I'm going into the green shit. Uh-oh. That's a terrible idea. Ah, green shit. Going underground is quite treacherous. What are these blue things? Should I be gathering this? I don't know. This is really cool, guys. I'm just like walking down into a cave that I have no idea how deep it goes. I'm assuming it's randomly generated. I don't know what to expect. I don't know if there's gonna be some sort of protuberance that shoots green gases at me, or if there's gonna be some sort of other protuberance that upon further investigation blows me up or something. I don't know. What is that right there? I found something useful. Oh, that's a part to my ship, I guess, or a part to a ship. Rather. Oh, what is this? Like a cannon or something? Like a Hot Wheels toy? Do I need to take this with me to my ship? Guys, this is awesome. This game is so mysterious. I like it. You're coming with me, Orange Thing. We're going back to the ship. I'm going to do things to you. Unspeakable things. We're both orange, so it'll be all right. What the hell is that thing? And how come I didn't see it the first time? My base is right over there. You mean I walked right past this thing? This is some man-made structure over here, guys. A mystery. I must solve it. Oh, look at that. Another piece. Give me the piece. I got two pieces now, guys. Two pieces. Two pieces I need to take back to my thing. What's this? A third piece? Could this be a third piece? No, it's not a third piece. Third piece of junk. <laughs> I'm sorry. So what does this thing do? Nothing? All right, whatever. Well, I'll hoard it, I guess. Drag the resin over. Okay. What does that do? Oh, wait. <gasps> what is that thing? Is that a gun that I have? Oh my God, that's cool. Oh, I just took it off. Sorry. I don't want that. What, what in the world? It broke. I don't want to break. Okay, guys. All right. Well, this has been Astro Near. I have no idea what I'm doing now that the general meat of the game has been digested by my body and I'm not going to get any spoilers. I'm going to look at some stuff on maybe how to do some things. Also, leave me some helpful comments down below if you know anything about this game, which is highly unlikely that you know more than me, so. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching this episode of Astro Near. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you in the next episode when I figure out what the fuck this shit is. Sputnik, this mini is confused. <laughs>